Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video we'll see how to export or rather copy paste a table from Excel and this could be a table or just a range with data like this one or even a chart and we will see how to copy paste that into Word and for that of course you need to have Microsoft Word which is part of the Microsoft Office package so you should have it there. And in this simple example, that will look like this. So the table or the range is copied into a new document and is set to fit the width of the page. So let's see how to do that. Here I have a document with the same table. Let's go to the Visual Basic Editor and insert a module. And the macro will be copy, paste, table to Word or something like that. And first we need to declare the word application object variable. And we can do it with early binding or late binding. So if we use late binding, and let's call this word application as an object, and then we set the word application to create object, word application, this is, this is known as late binding and it doesn't require to add any library. So the macro could work just like that. But I'm also going to show you the other way. The other way is called early binding. So I'm going to comment that. And to use early binding, we need to add the Microsoft Word object library. So we go to tools, references, and then we look for Microsoft Word object library. Once we add the library, we can actually declare as new word application. And the advantage of using early binding is that now we can directly refer to this object and get all the properties and methods that apply to the word application. Now, but before that, what we're going to do is to copy the range of data or the table or whatever we want to paste in Word. So in this case, I'm going to do that with range A1 current region. So that will get me the whole range with data around cell A1. And we're going to just copy that. Now, with the Word application object, the first thing we're going to do is to make the application visible. So that's basically going to open Microsoft Word. Then we're going to add a document. So otherwise, we're not going to see anything. And finally, we can paste the table. And to do that, we need to reference the selection because after adding the document, that's the selection. That's the selected item. And then we can paste the table or the range that we've copied earlier. Now, we need to format a bit the document or the page to make the table fit. Well, this would work already as it is, but it's better to make sure we have a document that fits the table that we want to paste. So in this case, I'm gonna target the active document, page setup property, and I'm gonna set the orientation to portrait. But if you have a large table, meaning a, a white table that you want to rather paste in a landscape orientation, you should use the other one. And in any case, Word shows by default the portrait orientation. But this is how we can target some of the properties of the document. Now, again, with the active document, I am now going to target that, uh, that table that we just pasted. And that's table one, because there's only one table. It's a new document, and there's only one table for now. Then with tables, we can do a lot of things. As you see here, there are so many properties uh, to help us format and arrange that table. And what I'm going to do is just to fit the table to the page. We could use allow out of fit, but I'm actually going to use out of fit behavior, which is a method that allows to select one of these three options. And I want to out of fit to the window. We could also set a fixed size or fit only the content. But in this case, we're going to use out of fit window and, and that's going to set the table to fit the whole width of the page in the document. Now, as I showed earlier, we can target many other properties of the document and format it as needed. But for now, let's, let's see how that uh, looks like. So we're going to end the width statement here and we can run the macro 
and see how that works. So as you see, we've got our table copy pasted in Word and it fits the whole width of the document in the first page. So that's how we copy paste a table from Excel to Word using VVA macros. Thanks for watching.